Hello, my name is Ben Moyson and today I'm going to be making tempura. Tempura is basically a Japanese dish and it consists of like fruit, uh, fruit, <laughs> vegetables uh, or seafood that is coated in like a light batter and then deep fried. It's very tasty. Uh, today I'm going to be making a vegetable tempura. So to begin with, I'm going to make the batter. To start off with, we're going to add 200 grams of plain flour to a medium sized bowl. 100 grams of corn flour, one egg, and 400 milliliters of sparkling water. Also, don't forget to season the batter with a little bit of salt. Now I'm just gonna whisk the mixture until it forms a nice homogenous batter. Don't over whisk the mixture too much. It's okay if there's little lumps of flour in it. This ensures maximum crunch. Uh, we're now gonna put this in the fridge to let it chill whilst I prepare the vegetables. So I've got a selection of vegetables here. I've got red pepper, courgette, some tin stem broccoli. Um, you can actually fry whatever vegetables you want. You could do uh, onion, you could do mushrooms, you could do spring onions. So to begin with, I'm just gonna cut these into like little strips. So for the courgette, you're gonna first of all slice the ends off because you don't want those. Now we're gonna slice the courgette in half and then we're gonna cut into quarters, lengthways, to get some nice strips. Slice the pepper into strips. Uh, for the tin stem broccoli, I'm using about eight florets. And all you need to do is just pick off some of the leaves if you don't want to have those. Okay, so I've got a large frying pan here. I'm just gonna half fill it with some frying oil. I'm using sunflower oil. We're gonna be shallow frying this tempura. And we're just gonna heat this oil up. Okay, so we're just gonna check to see if the oil is ready. Not quite easy. Actually, no, there's a few bubbles there. So yeah, it should be ready. And uh, now we're gonna take our veggies. So I'm gonna start with a little courgette. Uh, dunk that in our batter, get it nice and coated. And then we're gonna shake off the excess and lay it gently into our oil like so. Once a nice crust is formed on the outside, flip the veggies over. Once the tempura is done, transfer it to a sheet of paper towel to dry off the excess grease. Sprinkle a generous amount of salt over the tempura and serve with a good squeeze of lemon juice. That was how to make homemade tempura. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.